Well, we will now solve question number three of the set D of the IITJE mains 2017 paper, which looks like this. We have been given this equation that 5 times tan square x minus cos square x is equal to 2 times cos of 2x plus 9, and we have to find the value of cos of 4x. Well, how do we proceed here? Firstly, note that tan can be written as sine upon cos, so I can write the given expression as 5 into. Now, if I replace sine of x by a small letter s, so I get a s here and a c here because tan is sine upon cos. So if I write s to mean sine of x and if I write c to mean cos of x, I can now write tan of x as sine of x upon cos of x. But because there's a square here, so I will get a square here on sine square and cos square. Then the second term is minus of cos square of x. Now, cos of x is c, so cos square of x is c square. So I'm substituting sine of x by s and cos of x by c. And so I get this left hand side. If you look at the right hand side, you have a twice of cos of 2x. Now, cos of 2x can be written as two times. Note that I'm writing cos of 2x. Now, I know cos of 2x can be written as 2 cos square x minus 1. Now, cos of x I've substituted or replaced by c, and so I can write this as 2 into c square minus 1. So now I've obtained that cos 2x is equal to 2c square minus 1, where I will substitute cos of 2x here. So I will now put cos of 2x as 2c square minus 1, and then I have a 9 which is to be added. So what I've done here is I've just written tan as sine upon cos, and then I've written sine of x as s, and cos of x as c, for ease of writing. And now I can further solve this. Note that if I write sine square as 1 minus cos square, I also know that sine square x plus cos square x is equal to 1, which means in our notation, s square, which represents sine x, and c, which represents cos x, now s square plus c square will be 1. And so I can now replace s square by 1 minus c square. So wherever s square comes, I can write 1 minus c square in its place. Now s square is coming here, and so I can now write this as 5 into 1 minus c square upon c square minus c square. And then on the right hand side, I already have 2 into 2c square minus 1, which is retained, and a plus 9, which is also retained. Now, if I further solve this, note that if I take a common denominator c square, I will now write 5 times 1 minus c square minus c to the power 4 upon c square. So now I've taken c square common on the left hand side in the denominator, and so I write a c raised to 4 here. And now on the right hand side, I get 4 times c square minus 2 plus 9, which becomes plus 7. Now, this c square can multiply the entire right hand side, and so I will now get 5 into 1 minus c square minus c to the power 4 is now equal to, note that this c square is coming on the right hand side, well, it will come in the numerator, and so I will get c square into 4 c square plus 7. Now, this can further be written as, Note that a minus 5c square combines with a 4c, cut, continue. Note that a minus 5 into c raised to 4 will combine with a c raised to 4 from this term, and so we will get, I will rewrite this for simplicity, that 5 minus 5c square minus 5c to the power 4 is now equal to 4c square into c square, which becomes 4 into c to the power 4, plus a 7c square, which is retained. Now I will take all the terms on one hand and only keep the zeros on the left hand side. So if I take all these terms on the right hand side, I will now get 4c raised to 4 plus 5c raised to 4. Because minus will become plus when it comes on this side. And so I will get 4 plus 5, that is 9c to the power 4. Then I will do the same thing for c square terms. I will get 7c square plus 5c square, which will give me 12c square. And finally, I will be left with a uh, 5 on the left hand side, which when brought on the right hand side becomes minus 5. And so I get another term here as minus 5. So now note that we have this equation, which can we can reduce to 0. Or rather, this can be equated to 0, because we've taken all the terms on the right hand side. And now this is a quadratic in c square. Note that I can now obtain the value of c square from here. Now, it's easy that I can retain the 0 on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, I can note, factor this as 9 into c to the power 4 plus 15c square minus 3c square and retain the minus 5 as it is. And now this expression that we've obtained can be easily factored. Note that the 0 will be preserved on the left hand side and on the right hand side we will have now 9c raised to 4 and 15c raised to 2. From these first two terms we can take 3c raised to 2 common and so if we take 3c square common what remains inside is 
3 c square plus 5. And in the second term, we have a 3c square plus 5 with a negative sign. So I take a minus 1 and again get a 3c square plus 5. Now this can be easily written as 0 is equal to 3c square plus 5 multiplied by 3c square minus 1. And now because this can never be negative, 3c square plus 5 can never be equal to 0 because c square is real or rather c is real because c is cos of x and so c square can never be negative. And so this first term can never be equal to 0. Note that here 3c square minus 1 is therefore equal to 0 because one of these two factors has to be 0 but this first cannot be a 0 because c is real and so this second factor has to be 0 and so we can write from this that 3c square minus 1 is equal to 0. Now because 3c square minus 1 is equal to 0 we can now write c square is equal to 1 upon 3. Now c square was our cos of x and so we have now obtained the result that cos square of x is equal to 1 upon 3. Well, but we have to find the value of cos of 4x. So now to find the value of cos of 4x, note that first we will write cos of 2x can be written as twice of cos square of x minus 1 by a standard trigonometric identity. And now this can be written as 2 into 1 by 3 because cos square x is 1 by 3. So I can write 2 into 1 by 3. Then I have a minus 1. Now this will give us the answer minus 1 upon 3. So we obtain the value of cos of 2x. Now. From this, we can obtain the value of cos square of 2x. Now, cos square of 2x, therefore, will be minus 1 by 3, the whole square, which comes to 1 by 9. And so we obtain the value of cos square of 2x. And this value will be used to find cos of 4x, which is our final answer. And so we will write cos of 4x will be equal to twice of cos square of 2x minus 1 by a standard trigonometric identity. Now, if cos of 2x is equal to, or rather, now, if cos square of 2x is 1 by 9, we can replace this by 1 by 9. And so we get cos of 4x is equal to 2 times cos of 2x to the power 2, which is 1 by 9 from this. And the minus 1 is retained. And so we will continue this and get the final answer as minus 7 upon 9. So let me highlight this answer with a double box because this is the final answer that we've obtained. And so we can write the solution to this question as cos of 4x is equal to minus of 7 by 9. So we've obtained the solution to this question as cos of 4x is equal to minus 7 by 9, which is the fourth option.